What's up everybody? This is Silent Slayer. Welcome back to another PvP Battle League video, guys. Okay, today we like another new team combination for Evolution Cup. These team is suggested by one of my friends, one of my subscribers. Shout out to Dragonat07 who suggested me this team. So today we're gonna fight it. We have Haunter, we have Machoke, we have V-Growth. And the moveset of Pokemon, guys, Haunter, we have Shadow Claw, Shadow Punch, and Ice Punch. V-Growth, we have Counter, Body Slam, and Bulldoze. And Machoke, we have Karate Chop, Brick Break, and Danic Punch. So in this team, I use Haunter as a lead and saves off for V-Growth and coverage and finish off. Macho can come. Macho is like a really good for coverage and finisher. So here we go. Let's go for the first match. Let's see what opponent have. And guys, if you like new on my channel, so please subscribe. And if you didn't subscribe, so watch my video till the end. It's Haunter versus Shadow Dragon. It's kind of, it's kind of bad sort as you can see. Only Dragon Bat can take out my 60% of my health. So let's use the Shadow Punch immediately. And opponent just uses it and he farm it down my whole Haunter health with the Dragon Bat. So I'm now I'm gonna let it go my Haunter here and then bring out V Growth and give him like one body slam. If he doesn't use his shield. Dragoner will be gone. Yep, we got the Dragoner. But as you can see, Dragoner got my like 50% health of my V growth also. And he have also V growth. So let's use the shield here. He doesn't know I have like much ox. So let's use the body slam. And then switch to our Machok. Yep, just switch to it. Let's farm it down to the cross shop. And he just switched to his Velius. And the Velius is like also weak against fighting type Pokemon because of dark type. He just uses shield. I'm gonna use my shield as well and farm it down two brick back, one for Zevilius and one for V Growth. I hope this one can knock him out. Standard moves of Machok, we have like a cross shop. Cross shop is like a legacy move on Machok. But we V Greg's like also do the damage because of fighting enough. So as you can see guys, it's bad late, but we still win GG for us. Moving on to next one. Haunter versus Haunter. As you can see, Hex. Shadow Claw, sorry, not Hex. Got the Shadow Punch at CMP tie. And we got the opponent Honda. Let's see what he have here. Like Pillow Swine. So again, let's go for the Shadow Punch here. And I'm gonna bring out my Machoke here because if he switch to Gold Bat, so let's switch to our B Growth. Not gonna use shield. Let's see what he got. It's an Avalanche. And he switched to Floret. So bring out our V Growth here. Let's use the Body Slam. The neutral amount of damage. I'm gonna use my shield. I have to take him out. Use the Psychic. I can do some little amount of damage on V Growth. Opponent just use his shield. Got like both 1 1 shield left. Again, I'm gonna use my shield. I have to put down his both shield, then switch to our Machok and give him like one brick brick. But unfortunately, he just switch as well. So, brick brick go, go on, Pillow Swine. Let's farm it down. We have to give him like one more brick, and yep, we got the brick back. He just he just come farm it down. I much and give the charge move on V growth, but we got the charge move on V growth, and but we got the brick break on Machok and we got this match. As you can see in this, I just mean like five out of five. Moving on to next one. What was his charge bug? It's in like an average start. I don't know what charge bug attack do. So let's use the shadow punch. Let me do axes or. Hunter can survive when actually let's see not gonna use shield but unfortunately he used discharge directly and discharge do like lot damage on Haunter. So use the body slam. But doesn't use shield, I think this one can knock him out. But only just use his shield. I'm gonna use my shield as well. Let's farm it on his whole health with the counter here. Again gonna use my shield. Another charge move ready guys like a really irritating got three charge move and he got like almost take out my 60% health of V growth and he got the V growth also let's give him like back to back body slam he just used shield again let's go for the body slam and then switch to a choke yeah much can survive body slam so let's see what he got obviously it's in body slam I, I think he has something weaker to fighting that's why he doesn't switch so let's see what third pokemon he have we have like pillow swine so let's give him like dynamic punch and dynamic punch is like a one shot for him again gg for us you can see guys machok is like the best for finisher because nobody except like double fighting type pokemon in your team that's why machok is like really great on towards his v growth he just switched to dragon so i'm gonna bring out my v growth safe swap let's see what you got body slam or aqua tail not gonna use shield it's body slam Let's over farm a little bit and then do the body slam. Now opponent just use his shield. Let's give him like one more body slam. And unfortunately, he just uses both the shield on track and as well. Let's bring out our haunter and farm it down his whole health with the shadow claw. 
we use the aqua drill do some damage let's use the shield got another charge already i'm gonna use my another shield here let's take the risk let's see what he have and he just bring his sailor so let's use the shadow punch much of we have like the super effective against both his v growth on cello also so it's gonna be like close battle because much of it like squishy also let's use the direct dynamic punch directly i hope this one can knock him out yep we got the full health of v growth we need to give him like one more break and yep we got the brick break at like cmp tie again gg for us guys and a much of save our team just like do the best finisher moving on to next one haunter versus v growth again good start Go farm a little bit and then do the ice punch and Vigrus can do bulldoze also and bulldoze is like super effective against it so we have to careful about that so I'm gonna use my shield here I think he go for the directly bulldoze yep that's what I thought if I doesn't use his shield my haunter will be gone let's let's use the shadow punch this time to bait down his shield but unfortunately he doesn't use his shield let's use the ice punch this time and finish him he just use his shield I'm not gonna use my shield I'm gonna let it go haunter I know he's gonna definitely go for the bulldoze Let's bring out our V growth here and farm it down with the counter. Let's see. And that's we have like also haunter. Let's over farm him a little bit and then go for the body slam to bait down his shield. I hope he uses shield. If he uses shield, we can easily win this match. Yep, he just uses shield. Yep, we got the bulldoze again. And we got the haunter. Let's switch to Macho. Directly and he say well, yeah, Lyron, Lyron is like weak against fighter and opponent just send her because you know can't win again GG for us Machok is like the as you can see like best finisher as I told you Dragon Eye versus Haunter again as you can see bad star let's use the ice punch directly Fortunately just yes, usually this time I go for the shadow punch but he got my Haunter with the Dragon Breath let's bring out V growth Let's use the shield because we have one shield advantage. Let's go farm him and then go. As you can see, he got another charge move ready at CMP. That's like really bad for us. We just waste all his energy on Dragon Air. I shouldn't give him like Body Slam. And let's see what he have. He have like also. Is that Body Gun? I thought he got the V Growth. What you going to? Let's use the shield here and then go for the Body Slam. And if he uses his shield, then I'm gonna switch to my Machok here. Yep, he just uses shield. Let's use like switch to Machok and give him like Brick Back. And one brick kit can knock him out, I think. Yep, we got the Porygon. Let's see what he have. We have like Magni Zone. So let's use the brick break again. I think this one can knock him out or just a little bit survive. Yep, he just a little bit just survive. And opponent just surrender because you know can't win. GG for us, guys. Moving on to next one. Haunter versus Vigroth again. Good start. Use the. It's, it's an indefinitely body slam, so not gonna waste shield on body slam. Got the ice punch and ice punch can at least take it out 50% of his health. Yep. And he just switched to dust clock just to catch our move and it's the really right thing. I'm not gonna switch to my other Pokemon because I have like much of V growth on my team, so let's finish the dust clock with my Haunter. And opponent just uses first shield, so, so let's bring out first V growth here and give him like bulldoze. Let's see what he got. Not gonna use first shield here, it's in shadow punch. This time I'm gonna use my shield. It's a nice punch as you can see. And he just bring his V growth. So let's take the first body slam and then switch to Chokia and farm it on his whole health with the karate chop. He got another body slam ready. We have the shield advantage. Let's see what he have. He have like graveler, so let's give him like back to back brick break. Definitely gonna use his shield. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, let's go for the brick break. I'm gonna directly go for the bulldoze on Graveler because Graveler's Rock Blast can knock out my V Growth here, so I'm gonna save my shield here. So we need only like one more bulldoze to knock out Dust Club, and we caught the bulldoze CMP tie. So again, GG for us, guys. Good game. Moving on to next one. Let's see what opponent have. It's Haunter versus Pillow Swine. It's a bad start for us because Pillow Swine got the Avalanche, and Avalanche can do a lot of damage. And Haunter is like squishy. It doesn't use shield. Let's oh, I'm gonna use my shield and then switch to our V growth here. It's so farming, then switch to V growth and farm it down with the counter. Yep, we got like we give him like one shield. Let's see what he have. And he have like shadow dust clop. 
Let's use the bulldozer here. I hope it doesn't use a shield. Yeah, if it doesn't use a shield, that's good. Let's see what he got. Ice punch. Definitely go for the ice punch. It's over farming. He just switched to his... I don't know why he switched to his weak growth. Let's give him like back-to-back -back body slam. Got another body slam ready. Let's see. He's gonna use his shield or he's gonna let it go. It doesn't use his shield. Let's bring out my choke and farm it down with the karate chop. Not gonna use shield. Let's see. Body slam. Machok can easily swap him body slam. And you got another body slam ready. So this time I'm gonna use my shield and farm it on his full health with the karate chop. And let's see what he bring. He just bring a dust club. So let's use the first brick back and then switch to haunter and let's we got the shadow punch ready. And I hope one shadow punch can knock him out from this stage. And again, GG for us guys. Opponent just surrender. Moving on to next one. As you can see, this team is like totally effective in Evolution Cup. So guys, use this team. Another V growth. Let's go for the ice punch. He just uses shield. I'm gonna use my shield as well. Not gonna take risk. And you go for the bulldoze. You have like dust clop, shadow dust clop. Let's I'm not gonna switch to my other Pokemon. Let's fight him with my Haunter. We got another shadow punch ready. Let's see how much damage he can do. Just a little bit, just survive. But he got another shadow punch ready. So I'm gonna let it go my Haunter here. And then bring out our V Growth and farm it on his whole health with the counter. Mm, we have one shield, let's see what he bring. He just bring his V Growth also, so let's give him like back to back body slam. I hope he doesn't have like gold bat at the back because much of is like weak against wing attack. And I think opponent just surrender or something else. He does he doesn't like shadow dragon at the back. Let's use the body slam and switch to our machoke. I'm gonna use my shield here and farm it down his health with the karate chop. So easy win, GG for us guys. It's like a really great team. So thanks to Dragon Art who suggested me this team. I'm going to next one. Haunter versus Dragon Art. So let's use the Shadow Punch to bait down his shield. If you go for the Shadow Punch, so you can you like deliver two Shadow Punch if you try to farm my Haunter with Dragon Breath. If if you go if we go for the Ice Punch, so you can deliver only one Ice Punch. And he switched to Dust Clop. He thought I go for the Ice Punch, but I go for the Shadow Punch too. Do a massive amount of damage on Dust Club. Let's bring out V Growth. Farm it on his health with the Bulldozer. Let's see what he got. Definitely Ice Punch. So we'll farm him. Got another Ice Punch ready. You can see Ice Punch like really ready in like 2 3 seconds. Let's over farm him and then go for the Bulldoze. Let's see what he bring. He have like V Growth also. Let's use the Body Slam. Do neutral amount of damage. Let's switch to over Machoke and farm it down with the Karate Chop. No, he's gonna switch to his Dragon eh? to catch my move. Because the two brick break. Yep, he just uh, Yep, we got another brick break. I hope this one can knock him out. Just a little bit survive, guys. You can see that's really bad for us. Just weak of that. We have like one shield advantage. Let's farm it down with the counter. So he just got the body slam and I just sneak through one counter and I'm gonna use my shield here and we just knock out the V growth. So as you can see guys, really close battle. GG for us, moving on to next one. Haunter vs Pillow Swine. Again bad start, he just switched to Dusk Clock. So I'm not gonna switch to my other Pokemon because I have like V growth, Machok, both are like super effective against Haunter. So both are like super, eff super effective against Pillow Swine. So let's fight him with the Haunter. I'm gonna maintain the type advantage. Because Duskloak is like really bulky Pokemon and it's like difficult for Machoke and Vigro to take down Duskloak. So let's fight him with the Haunter here. And we almost take it out like 6 to 70 percent of his health. So it's not easy. We need only one Bulldoze to knock out Duskloak. Hope we can deliver. We got another Ice Punch ready. Really quick. Let's over farm a little bit and then go for the Bulldoze here. As you can see because of lag I just do the great one. Let's see. What he bring? He bring his Machoke also. So let's give him like back to back body slam. And one more body slam, but he, get, he just catch my move on Pillow Swine. But then also good, I have like Machoke at the back. He doesn't know. Let's switch to our Machoke and farm it on his full health with the Karate Chop. And like make the energy of Dynamic Punch and directly use on his opponent Shiny Machoke. Yeah, let's use the Dynamic Punch and we caught the Dynamic Punch and CMP ties. So again, GG for us guys. This seems like totally destruction in Evolution Cup. So that's all for today's video guys. That's all for today's battle. Thanks for watching. Please do like, comment, share and please subscribe to my channel.